Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you how I go about setting up a fresh Ubuntu install for development. And I just started to do this when I realized it might be interesting just to make a quick short video about the settings I use, um, or I should say the applications I use when I'm setting up a fresh Ubuntu install. So uh, the first thing I like to make sure to do before installing anything is just to make sure that we've got the latest packages. So we can sudo apt-get um, update. And once that runs, um, we can um, basically just start uh, making sure that the applications that we want to install are installed. So the first thing I like to do is install git uh, because I use that for all my version control, obviously. Um, the next thing I like to do is make sure that Vim is installed. Um, because I use Vim for all of my text editing. And um, then I like to make sure that ZSH is installed. So um, we'll go ahead and sudo apt-get install um, ZSH, which is a Z shell, which is a nice alternative to bash. And then finally, I like to install a configuration framework called oh my ZSH, um, which you can see here in Robbie Russell's uh, repository. So what you can go ahead and do is just make sure you have uh, curl installed, which it should be um, installed by default on Ubuntu. And um, just go ahead and run this installation script. And it's probably already gonna, uh, it's gonna throw some kind of error because it's already installed on my machine. Um, yeah, well, okay, so it just tells us it's already installed. Um, just to see what it looks like, we can go ahead and remove um, the OMIZSH directory. And I'll just run this again. So what it's gonna do is actually create a um, dot file for, a, like a template sort of dot file for your uh, ZSH RC configuration. So for your uh, Z shell configuration. Um, and if you already have a dot file, it's basically gonna back that up to um, so-called pre oh my ZSH <laughs> configuration and it's gonna replace it with its own uh, template. All right, so once that's done, you'll see that uh, you get this oh my uh, ZSH little splash screen and we can actually just take a look at um, what is in the uh, template ZSHRC. you can see that uh, there's actually a lot to it here I don't have a Vim RC loaded yet but we'll take a look at that in a minute um, two of the most important parts really about this uh, if you're going to be using Z shell um, or oh my ZSH with Z shell are the theme that you like to use and the plugins. Um, you can obviously, as it says, uncomment any one of these other sort of uh, configuration options to do various things. Like um, I think there's like disable auto correction, um, automatic updates, things things of that nature. Um, some of the plugins that I like to use are um, Auto ENV for uh, managing my virtual environments in, while working on Python projects. Um, there's one for Docker. There's one for Celery, which is a task manager. Um, sorry, like a task uh, queue um, that I use for Django. But you can actually just take a look at the plugins page here somewhere. Uh, there is a nice page. Um, inside the Git repository here to show you basically all the different options you have for plugins. Um, there are quite a few of them. So it looks like there's one for uh, VI mode, Tmux, uh, screen, which is an alternative to Tmux, a number of other different things here. So we'll go ahead and add the um, Tmux and yeah whatever else you like all right so we'll go ahead and quit that um yeah all right we're going to overwrite it anyway actually because so one of the things i like to do is i actually like to manage all of my dot files in a um 
git repo and just post that to GitHub. Some people actually sort of like to version control their entire home directory, I guess, so that you could uh, really quickly set up everything. Um, instead, I just like to manage my dot files and then I create sim links from the home directory um, to point to all the dot files, you know, all the configuration files that I'm using for whatever program. So I keep everything in everything that I want to manage in a single folder. And um, so I just, what I would do is I would just create a directory called dot files in my home directory. And um, we'll cd into that and, oops. Uh, um, and we're just gonna clone down what I have in my current dot files repo from GitHub. And then the dot will just clone it into this directory here that we're in. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. All right, but you can see that um, here I've got like my Z shell config and my Vim and Tmux and everything. Um, I've got a, a basic git config in here as well and a bash rc file. Um, this make dot sh script um, we can just take a look at that what this does is it is going to um, for, a, for a list of files that I have here is going to create um, a directory called uh, files dash old and it's going to um, then change into the current uh, you know this directory that I have called dot files um, from the home directory and then for each of the files in my list it's going to um, move any existing dot files that I have into the old, and then it's going to symlink the um, new dot files with the ones that are in my dot files directory. Um, so first we'll just go ahead and make sure that this is executable. And uh, I got a sticky key here. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is just back out and now I can run dot files slash dot make sh um, and it's going to create them um, it's doing some kind of move error here that it can't stat home fin dot dot bash rc I think I've got a typo in my um, script let's see so it's trying to move. Ah, so yeah, we don't need that dot in front of the, I've included them in the list of files here. So it was basically trying to move a file that was dot dot bash rc instead of dot bash rc. All right, um, so just to make sure that that works again, we are going to just run it again. All right, so it says, yeah, so that works. So moving existing dot files to the old directory, creating a sim link um, to a, basically a pointer we're calling dot bash rc. Um, and yeah, so now we're good to go. Basically, now I can, I know that I can basically edit any of the dot files in that dot files directory. And they're gonna work just fine because the applications that are looking for them are gonna look in the home directory and get pointed to my managed repository. All right, um, and so maybe what I'll also do is we'll go back into dot files and get, and we'll just say we fixed typo in our dot make sh script. All right, so that's good. Um, yeah, and so you can see how easy that is now. Like, if uh, I'm working on a different machine somewhere and I want to use the same um, configurations, then I can just actually pull this repo down, and any DAO files that are already on that system will get backed up anyway. Um, but yeah, it's pretty quick, <clears throat> and I think it's a nice uh, system. All right, so that's that. Um, I think we forgot to install Tmux. Right, so I mean that is basically it. We've got um, you know Python, 
and um, we've got Tmux, we've got Vim, and obviously we've got Git and Z Shell with oh my ZSH setup. Um, so that's basically it in terms of sort of like a base setup. Um, very quickly, I guess we could look at the uh, VimRC. Um, and it's giving me, throwing me some errors here because we need to run um, plugin install here. Um, we need to basically uh, install bundle and then run plugin install to install all of these other Vim plugins. Um, so I used to use Tim Pope's pathogen and then a few months ago I, I switched over to um, bundle. And so um, I think it's I think it's pretty cool that basically you can just in your VimRC file list the plugins that you need and then run plugin install and everything is sort of managed inside your VimRC. Um, I think that's quite a bit nicer. Um, but Fugitive is uh, sorry. Um, yeah, Pathogen is is nice as well. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out how to install Bundle. So we'll just go ahead and clone this down. Um, yeah. All right, so I guess that's all we need to do is just go ahead and run that. So that'll download, and then what we can do is we'll go back into our vimrc file, and we'll just run plugin install. And see, this is why I think uh, Bundle is so uh, useful: is that you know this is a fresh install of Ubuntu here, and and basically just use my existing vimrc file and it, it does all the work of going out and um, basically finding these plugins on github or in other repositories and just pulling them down and managing them all right so now that, that is set up um, what i can do is we can source the current file um, which will basically just execute this vimrc and yeah, so you can see that my uh, theme is back. I got the scroll off um, working and it is looking pretty good. Um, one thing is, hmm. sorry, yeah, um, uh, I forgot. One other thing that I like to do is I like to map my caps lock key to control. So um, I don't remember how to do that. Ubuntu, so we'll just take a look. Uh, gnome tweaked, well, that's right. So we'll just sudo apt-get install gnome tweak tool. Yeah, I think that like caps lock is a pretty useless key in general. And um, particularly since it's like on the home row, uh, your pinky's like right next to it all the time and it just makes sense to map to something more useful and uh, control is pretty useful key uh, to use so we'll just go ahead and fire up gnome tweak tool and we'll go to keyboard and mouse i believe and hmm. let's see typing Uh, control P key condition position sorry um, slap control and caps lock or caps lock as control okay so I think that's basically all that we need to do I'll just test it out see that it's working and yep it works pretty well all right um, yeah that's basically it um, I do like to make some additional configurations inside of my Z shell RC. Z shell RC um, that you can see here. Um, we'll go over these maybe in another video sometime, but I do like to do uh, some things that just make working a little bit quicker for some of the longer uh, commands that you might that you might run. Um, I don't know why I don't tuck this git command into my git config, but anyway. Yep, you can tuck all this inside just like at the bottom of your uh, 
the, at the bottom of your uh, Z shell top file. And that's basically it. All right, thanks for watching.